here we will see a very interesting question and important question from the chapter mathematical induction here question is proved by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural number 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 up to 1 by n into n plus 1 is equal to n by n plus 1 ok so here total number of terms is n correct so this is the mathematical statement and we have to prove it. So, let us start the solution here. Here given this mathematical statement, mathematical statement is denoted by P n. Okay? So, here P n is 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus up to 1 by n into n plus 1. This is equal to n by n plus 1. This is relation number 1. We have to establish it. We have to prove it. So, here we our first step will be to show that P 1 is true. Uh, here we will put n is equal to 1 that then we will get P 1 and we have to show that P 1 is true. So, this is the first step here to show that to show that P 1 is true. Okay? And uh, for this, let us put putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. So, this n becomes 1 here. So, P 1 is now total number of terms in left hand side will be here 1. Only one term will be there since n is equal to 1. So, here we are getting 1 by 1 into 2. This is left hand side and right hand side is n will be 1. So, 1 by 1 plus 1 or we are getting here 1 by 2 and this is equal to 1 by 2. So, here we are getting left hand side is equal to right hand side. It means P 1 is true. Therefore, P 1 is true. First step is over and second step we have to assume that P r is true. Here we will put n is equal to r okay? and we will assume that P r is true. So, second step is here assuming P r is true. So, let us put here putting n is equal to r in relation number 1 we will get here 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus 1 by r into r plus 1. We are putting n is equal to r. So, r into r plus 1. This is left hand side and right hand side will be r by r plus 1. Let us call it relation number 2. So, we are assuming it that p r is true and third and last step we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. Here we have to now third step so that P r plus 1 is true. So, here we will put putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. Then we will get here P r plus 1 putting n is equal to r plus 1 and we have to prove that this relation will this statement will exist that will show here. So, here this is 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus 1 by r into r plus 1. This is second last term and last term is 1 by r plus 1 into r plus 2. Since we are putting here r is equal to r plus 1. So, this is r plus 1 and this is r plus 1 plus 1. So, this is r plus 2 and the right hand side will be right hand side is here in place of n r plus 1 and here r plus 1 plus 1. So, r plus 2. So, here we have to show that this is correct. This is true. Here we will start with left hand side and we will come to the right hand side and finally, we will show that LHS is equal to RHS. Correct? So, in the left hand side, you see up to this much portion, up to this much portion, 
we can write r by r plus 1 from relation number 2. So, here left hand side becomes r by r plus 1 and plus 1 more term is here 1 by r plus 1 into r plus 2. Here we have to come at this step at this value r plus 1 by r plus 2 then it will LHS will be equal to RHS. Okay? Let us simplify it. Here LCM will be r plus 1 into r plus 2 and here r plus 1 into r plus 2, r plus 2 will be multiplied with r. So, r into r plus 2 correct and LCM is already r plus 1, r plus 2, this denominator is same. So, plus 1 and this is equal to r square plus 2 r plus 1 divided by r plus 1 into r plus 2 and the in numerator this is r plus 1 whole square divided by r plus 1 into r plus 2. So, this 1 r plus 1 will be cancelled out this r plus 1. So, only 1 r plus 1 will remain here. So, finally, we are getting this is equal to r plus 1 by r plus 2. This is the right hand side which we had to prove. This is right hand side. Therefore, we are proving here LHS is equal to RHS. It means P r plus 1 is true. That is P r plus 1 is true. So, Finally, we have to write one line statement here after doing this third step that therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical induction, this statement P n is true for all n. So, we got the result here it has been now proved that this statement is true for all n correct. So, only three steps we have to do here first step we have to show that p 1 is true that we have done here p 1 is true. Second step we assume that p r is true means this relation is existing and third and final stage we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. This is p r plus 1 and we have shown here LHS is equal to RHS. So, p r plus 1 is true. So, only three steps are there and finally, after proving p r plus 1 is true, we write this statement our solution is over correct. So, very simple and interesting solution and we have to see some more problems in other videos to come. Thank you very much.